Okay, good evening, everyone. I want to thank you for joining me for the ward meeting. Uh, this is a meeting that happens every month. And um, I call the people on the line the subject matter experts. These are the professionals that's in the city of Forest Park that's really running our city. And um, I like to give you information so that you'll have that information. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and start with our uh, public works department. Uh, Director Jinx, sir, give us an uh, update. Appreciate you uh, inviting me. Um, basically, uh, we're wide open down here. That's, I apologize. Uh, wide open down here. Grass is growing. Flowers are going in the ground. We're trying to pull off when we can, take care of some of these potholes. But basically, everybody is all hands on deck. And I've been tied up in interviews trying to replace all these vacancies we got. So hopefully we'll be seeing a lot of new faces. I think I've interviewed 20 plus people in the past three weeks. So uh, hopefully we'll be back up in full staff, hopefully within the next month. But the main thing is just grass, city events, uh, getting the street sweeper out, just trying to keep the city clean and beautiful and as safe as possible. And that's all we have. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. We're going to go ahead and go to our police department. We have Major Delk and Sergeant Lewis on the call with us. Can you give us an update from the PD? Uh, can you hear me? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, again, I'm, I'm Major Delk. This is Sergeant Lewis. Uh, just like Mr. Jake was saying, the summertime's coming. Uh, we have a lot of city events that we are also getting prepared for. Uh, we are actually in the beginning of a big recruitment drive as well. So if you know anybody that would like to join our ranks and become a police officer with the City of Forest Park, please send them our way. Uh, we're going to be starting some um, big, big recruitment drives. And uh, we've got a lot of big plans in order for that. Um, just as usual, if anybody in Ward 1 has any issues that uh, they think the police department needs to address, feel free to contact us, feel free to contact myself, anybody here at the police department, and we will do everything that we can to address those issues. Um, in Ward 1 itself, I don't believe we've had, uh, we just had our, 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 our monthly um, com ComStat meeting, we call it, where we went over um, all the numbers, and the numbers, what we talk about is the major crimes when I say major crimes, I'm talking about um, burglary, theft, robbery, those type of part one crimes. In Ward 1, uh, has not seen an increase over the last two months. Um, the issues that we have there are, when I say remain steady, they're, they're very low, which is a good thing. As most of you know, Ward 1 is made up uh, mainly of uh, residential areas. So if anybody, again, does have any issues that they would like for us to address or take a look at, feel free to uh, let us know either in this meeting or by calling me directly. Thank you so much uh, for that, uh, Major Delk. Uh, we have Danita from our um, Economic Development Department. Um, Danita, you have any updates for us? Let me make sure I'm not muted. Okay. Can you all hear me okay? Yes. Yes. Okay, great. Um, the Economic Development Department, we only have a few updates. The biggest one being that Zaxby's is currently in the process of pulling their permits. So hopefully we'll see some dirt turning soon on that project. Um, Main Street should be starting to look a little different in the next couple of months due to um, some facade grants that have been awarded. We have, I believe, one, two, four out right now um, with one uh, recipient almost being done with their project and another just getting started. And I think the last update I would have is that the boards as well as the economic development department attended a retreat in Stone Mountain over the weekend just to really get on the same page as to what projects we'll be doing in the upcoming year. That's it on our side. Thank you so much, Danita. Uh, we have Caitlin from our planning and community, well, she's from, well, she's from the planning and community development department. Caitlin, you have any updates for us? Uh, we do. Um, so I want to start with code enforcement. Uh, in Ward 1, we had 66 cases in total. 75% of those cases were just overgrown properties. Uh, let's see. 16 cases carried over to May. 
and we had 50 cases resolved. Um, as for the planning side of things, uh, in Ward 1, there was a um, map amendment, so essentially a rezoning off of Ruskin Drive. Um, that corner uh, was originally, um, or I guess accidentally zoned um, light industrial, and we changed it over to general commercial to match the surrounding areas. So there's that. Um, we also have the Main Street Streetscape project that is uh, starting to get underway. Um, the Gillum Fire Station, um, that's also underway. Uh, we should be turning dirt on that one as well um, in the near future. It's currently in progress. Um, and there's also the uh, Pine Ridge Park, uh, it's a part of our capital improvement pro uh, progress, oh, sorry, progress projects. Um, and um, yeah, so that is it for ours. Uh, we, for the project, uh, the uh, park, uh, we bought the land for that. So that will hopefully get underway um, in the very near future. So that's that's it for planning. Thank you so much. And then finally, I believe we have our HR department, uh, Deputy Director Lewis on the line with us. You have any updates for the community, Ms. Lewis? Yes, I do. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, we have some exciting positions open right now. And some of them include animal control officer, for the police department, lifeguard, seasonal, recreation department. The police department is looking for a police lieutenant. Uh, we have a mechanic at Public Works that we're looking for, staff assistant position at the police department. And to repeat what the police department just said, um, they are recruiting police officers. Uh, if you're interested, I will give you how to apply for these positions at the end. Uh, communications officer part-time, and we're also looking for communications officers full-time. Uh, with communications officer, you will need to type at least 40 words per minute. Uh, we're looking for an office coordinator, accreditation and quality assurance position at the police department. We have a management analyst grants position at the police department. The fire department is looking for firefighter paramedics. Uh, we're also looking for a heavy equipment operator. You must have your CDLs. And we're also recruiting for maintenance workers. If you're interested in any of these wonderful positions, please apply. Um, you have to visit our website at www.forestparkga.gov. You click on departments, human resources, and job openings. And once you see the position for apply now, you can create an account. And that's the update from HR right now. Have a good night. Thank you, Ms. Lewis. Appreciate that information. And I will see if our city manager, which is Dr. Cooper. Dr. Cooper, do you have any input for us this evening? Yes, I do. I just want to remind everyone, uh, Saturday, we have our community field day featuring our 2002 senior high school caravan. Um, but the field day is for everyone, everyone of all ages, come out and enjoy. Uh, on May 23rd um, at 5 p.m., we will be having our first read for the fiscal year 2022-2023 budget. Um, so we welcome all the community input, uh, come out, see what we're doing, see how uh, your funds are being spent, your tax dollars are being spent. Uh, that's all I have, Councilwoman. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you, everyone. Um, I see we have um, a live resident, Ms. Ann Keith, on the line with us. Thank you for joining us, Ms. Keith. Um, for those of you that will be um, joining us later or um, checking us out, um, as we put the information on the website, uh, it will be available for you and any future um, meetings will, will be there as well. I just want to echo what um, Dr. Cooper mentioned Saturday. We're excited about the caravan uh, for our class of 2022 um, as they go through the streets of Forest Park. So make sure you make your signs and get your noisemakers along the route. The route is available on our website, on the city's website. And then come out to Kiwana Stadium um, and celebrate with us. We'll have food trucks. 
Uh, we'll have games for the kids. We'll have um, obstacle courses. I believe the police department has their obstacle course that you'll be able to go through. So we're just looking for a fun time. We'll have resources there. I know that the, the um, school board member Williams will have a resource fair there on that same day as well. Um, and my phone is ringing off the hook. But come on out and join with us and we'll be happy to um, meet you and just have fun. So Ms. Keith, do you have any questions before we uh, end the call? I do not, thank you so much. I just wanna say how much I love your meeting though. It's so informative and I really appreciate everybody in the city and all you guys are doing for us. And an extra special shout out to uh, Bobby Jinx and his team who came and cleaned up the CNS, old CNS Bank parking lot. This is for the old people who hung out here too long, I guess. And the parking lot next to my house, I really appreciate it. It looks so beautiful here and uh, I just can't thank the team enough. Thanks. Thank you so much, Ms. Keith. And um, so just before we end, I do see from our recreation and leisure department, um, I believe it's Kiki Moore join us. Just in time, Ms. Moore, you can give us any updates that you have. Yes, ma'am. We and welcome to the team. So, <laughs> we have so much going on at um, the uh, Recreation and Leisure Department. Um, so many great programs that we have coming out this summer. I want to start with our swim lessons first. We have um, Aqua Tots, which is for our babies. It's like a mommy and me class. We have a class for our preschoolers, which are for age groups four to six years old. We have youth lessons for uh, seven-year-olds to a 15 year old and then we have adult swim lessons that we'll be doing this year as well as private swim lessons and water aerobic classes that we're doing for the community and for the uh, senior community um, we also have a one-on-one -on -one basketball well not a one-on-one -on -one, but a champ a championship basketball tournament going on this summer. Um, it, start, it starts from ages 12 to 17. The fees are $20 um, and the games are on Saturday and practices are on Tuesday and Thursday. And then right after that, we have um, our family game night that we'll be doing in um, June, in the month of June. So June 2nd, June 30th, from 6 to 9 down at the amphitheater, uh, we'll be doing a family game night a family game night, um, come enjoy games, um, bounce houses, jumbo checkers, limbo, cornhole, tic-tac-toe, tic connect for um, just a host of things for everybody to come out and enjoy with the family. We also have some things going on down at the senior center. Um, we're doing senior swim lessons um, and senior water aerobics, which are completely free to uh, membership holders for the city of Forest Park. And that is, oh, and then we have one more, um, our Juneteenth celebration, which will be uh, Saturday, June 18th from 4 to 9 p.m. at the amphitheater as well. We'll have live performances, bounce houses, face painting, pony rides, food truck, and it's all free to the community. So that's everything that we have going on, but it's a lot. Yes, yes, I love it. And you all have my kind of game. So um, for the team that's on the call, if you think you can beat me in checkers or connect <laughs> four or uh, tic-tac-toe, it's game on. I'll be there ready for you. <laughs> but I do Great. appreciate you all <laughs> uh, for um, spending <laughs> these few moments with me. And do uh, you have anything before we end the call? I, uh, our council A, Ms. Dixon, I see you're on. Yes, hello everyone. Um, thank you for uh, being on this Zoom call this evening. Um, I know we're winding down as parents for the kids to get out of school. Um, like Dr. Cooper said, our city manager, make sure you come out on this Saturday for the community field day. Um, it's going to be full of fun, games, and activities. You'll wear the kids out. They'll be tired by the time they get home. Uh, they can take a nap. They might be asleep for a while. But also, we have another event going on in the city. It is our first annual 
um, that, well, our first uh, Asian Heritage Festival that will be hosted on the 28th from 5 to 12. So 12 to 5, so please come out to that. That is hosted by our Councilman Hector Gutierrez. Um, and that will be on next Saturday, the 28th from 12 to 5. And for those that are trying to get their um, paperwork um, for our Hispanic families, we are hosting a um, clinic this, this Sunday at the Senior Center um, at one o'clock at the Senior Center to six. And it is a clinic to get your paperwork in order, ask questions, be able to know what documents you need. If you don't have them, they can show you how to get those specific documents. And that is also going to be hosted by Councilman Gutierrez from Ward 3. Um, that will be this Saturday, I'm sorry, this Sunday at the Senior Center from one to six. And that was a clinic to get your information and questions answered. Awesome, awesome. Well, that's it, everybody. Thank you so much for being a part of this amazing Forest Park team. We're doing some great things and we look forward to continuing continually to serve our community and provide them with the information they need.